Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam and G Quickies. Today we're going to be checking out a mod of a mod. A mod of arguably the best car mod ever made for Beam and G Drive. The CCF right here. Absolute instant classic. Seriously, probably the best highest quality car mod I've ever seen. And it just got a little bit better. Introducing the Procyon Vela. And of course, I'm sure I... Uh, mispronounce that but yeah this comes from the guy who made uh the centauri which is one of the best suv mods ever made for this game so of course this is going to be an absolute banger you can probably tell so yeah it's kind of like i think of it like the ultra luxury version of the ccf as far as styling goes it's fairly similar you can see a little bit of a, a difference in the back here it's a little bit smoother a little bit more futuristic uh, in its design and I'm pretty sure the headlights are only legal in Europe I don't think this would fly uh, in the United States regulations and all that there's no fog lights from what I could tell but yeah one of the big things I wanted to show you guys uh, actually the CCF added this uh, fairly recently both cars uh, actually have it but yeah if we go in to the CCF here and we click this button you remember how we had to kind of drag uh the top down if you wanted the top down well now it's fully automatic baby check it out absolutely <laughs> amazing just watch it just watch it for a second there we go look at it put itself away beautiful beautiful there's something oddly satisfying about that isn't there let's do it on uh the vela as well here we'll do it from the inside this time so we get the full experience look at it look at it go <laughs> oh i love it so much are we are we blue on the inside we are blue interesting choice don't know if i would go for it uh for myself but you know it, it's an option i guess by the way look at the leather in this thing it's the, this thing just screams quality and opulence and uh unfortunately automatic transmission but that's what you get that's the price you pay for uh for for rich people stuff i guess anyway you can even see like the dust on this window here you'd think uh if you pay for this car you're gonna have this thing clean at all times no siree yeah if we switch between the interiors you can definitely see a pretty big facelift here uh but yeah it, it can kind of you just get the feeling that these are better materials uh overall in this thing you might be paying an exorbitant exorbitant amount of money but dang does it look good so the vela adds actually quite a few different uh variants to this thing now if i had my way i would have these separated into two separate cars but they all are kind of thrown into the uh the ccf section and by the way you do need the ccf to be able to use this mod if you don't have it uh weird things are gonna happen but yeah they're all gonna be kind of down here uh, at the bottom i believe we are driving the retractable fastback right now so supposedly this thing should be pretty darn fast, right? So yeah, let's take it for a spin with the top down. We have a long highway here. It sounds pretty good. So let's see how fast we can go. We have the interactive screen as well. Both screens, actually. You can see everything moving as it should. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Not as easy to... I mean, it's about the same about it. Oh, we recovered it. Oh, my goodness. Did you see the G-Force meter? What a beautiful machine. Uh-oh. Of course, you can switch between all the drive modes as well. TCS off. Uh, I think we have a comfort mode as well. Yes, we do. And, of course, we have the parking <laughs> sensors here. So, if we get close to anything, it should start screaming at us on uh, the display here. Here we'll use the uh, the CCF as our target here. So as we get closer, it should start beeping. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> I still think that's like the coolest thing ever. Whoops. Did not be to do that. We're okay though. How much does this car cost? Does it actually say? Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Uh, but let's see how much this fastback is worth uh so i actually you know that's not too bad right there F 50 grand forty-eight thousand. that's not bad right but then i'm looking at like the top trim for the ccf and that's only how much is that thirty three thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars so you know maybe it is a little bit expensive how much is the street tuned version 
Okay, now we're getting up there. $58,000. <laughs> Let's try out the street tuned version. I believe this does have, yes, it does, the soft top. Oh, look at the styling on this thing. The wing, dude. And the, uh, the front grill. We got the license plate up in the window because there's just simply no place to put it where it's going to look good, of course. And then we have the uh, the the Villa First Edition. This one's fifty grand, a limited special edition featuring visual aero, exclusive wheels, and exclusive interior color badging. Everything featured as standard on the S two seventy comes with a retractable hard top. Of course, let's try this one out. Oh yeah, now we're talking. What's the interior color? The first edition, white. So do not bring any drinks. In this thing is that is how i'm reading that anyway let's put it into sport mode there we go now we're talking what's manual oh oh you can just there's just a button to switch it into manual that's awesome make sure everything in here still works yes it does there's the roof the lights can we call for help we cannot call for help also completely unplayable we can't open uh i'm assuming this is like storage plus cup holders yeah, can't interact with it. Completely unplayable. I'm just kidding. Of course. Anyway, let's see what this thing can do. The first edition. Sounds pretty good. Oh, we got grip for days. Oh, what a beautiful machine. <laughs> Both versions of this car. Just absolutely amazing. And uh, this particular version just adds on to arguably. I mean, I, it, it's, it's hard to think how you can improve upon the CCF, but uh, yeah, this definitely does it. If you want a more luxurious option, I'm not stopping. <laughs> if you want a more luxurious version, this is just a great add on for the car. Can I put the roof down while I'm driving though? I don't think I can. I mean, that's realistic. I wish I could do it, but I'm pretty sure you can't do that in real life. It would probably rip the roof off. So probably a good idea. So let's just run as fast as we can into the CCF back at the gas station. And then I think we should probably take this thing to the car jump arena, right? Yeah, I think we should. But here we go. Where is that thing? I know you're parked here somewhere. I see you. Let's get some slow motion as well. Oh, the poor thing. It was just sitting there minding its own business. <laughs> oh. The roof kind of caved a little bit. Does the roof will it still retract? It will not work. Oh, it's trying. It's trying. Look at the turn signals on this thing, man. Fully animated. Is this actually going to work? It seems to. Oh, yeah. So even if you get a, a hundred mile an hour head on collision, uh, the retractable roof will still retract. How's our CCF doing? It's honestly not too bad in here. Camera got kind of knocked out of whack. But yeah, besides the, the, the entire front of the car, uh, I would say it's pretty good. So before we move on to the car jumper, you know, I want to try one thing. Uh, I want to see if I can get these perfectly in sync. So what I need to do is pause the game. And what we're going to do is click that and then click that and then go into exterior and unpause. Yes, perfectly in sync as all things should be. <laughs> we did it, gentlemen. This is peak Beeman G right here. You might not know what peak performance is. It's this. It's this right here. I love it so much. Now, as far as I can tell, there's no uh, Vela performance like race car models. Unless these. No, I think these are just the regular CCF. See, that's why I kind of want them separate, like their own kind of separate uh, car uh, in the game, just so it'd be a little bit easier to tell. But I, I mean, I, th I think most of them do say Vela in front of it. I think that's. This is probably the top trim model or the fastback. I don't know. They're all they're all pretty quick. That's what I'm saying, man. You know what? I kind of like that. Um, that red right there. Sheesh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm liking this a lot better. I love I love the interior color as well. A lot better. Here's the outside view. Anyway, I'm getting sucked into this thing too much. Uh, let's take this to the car jumpery and see how far the fastest uh, version of the Vela can go. All right. So science question. Um, is it going to go faster with the roof up or down? I would assume probably up. This is the first edition, which uh, is pretty much the fastest version with a few extras on it. So I'm assuming this is probably going to be the quickest version of the car. I love the back end of this thing, man. I actually like it uh, uh, quite a bit more than the regular CCF. 
But there we go. Past the 200. Past the 300 easily. We might even make it to the 400. It's going to be very close. Just past the 400. Right around 405. Back in completely obliterated on contact. I don't think the roof is going to retract after that one, folks. But uh, and it doesn't mean we can't try, right? So let's... Can I even find is the button still there? Yeah, it is. It's trying. It's really trying. I don't think it's going <laughs> oh, to. It's going to break itself trying to do it. But, you know, it, it did do it kind of. <laughs> I'll call that a success. Had to kind of bend itself into shape to do it, but it did it. We only get this thing looking OK, just so, you know, I, I feel bad if it's just completely wrecked on the screen. But yeah, uh, the Procyon Vela. A nice little addition to the CCF. I mean, like I said, it's hard to make the best Beam and G car mod of all time better, but I think this does it, man. If you just want like a newer version, a more sophisticated, a more luxurious version of the CCF, this is about as good as you're going to get. So cherish it, man. I'll have a link to this thing down below. And while you're down there, why don't you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and join the Discord. Uh, I am going to be making a Beam and G Iceberg video soon, and uh, it's open to suggestions. So if you have something cool, uh, a little known fact about the game, let me know over on the Discord and you might see your suggestion in a future video. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.